Tanantha Couliard, nicknamed T, is an artist. Her medium, macarons. It's an edible art, so we're not just making the regular brown macarons. She's been making these fresh confections since 2021. She does the classic shape, two discs with her own secret buttercream recipe in between. But she also makes unicorns, Pikachu, even Mario. And he just so cute with the big nose. <laughs> Which explains her business's name. Oh, macarons. So it's O-H-H -H with the three dots. O is my Thai nickname, and it's also expression when people try the macarons. It's what she hears when people see and taste what she makes. Oh, so cute. Oh, so good. <laughs> the flavors are as creative as characters. Totoro tastes like black sesame. Rabbits, to celebrate Lunar New Year, are flavored with mango sticky rice. This flavor, acai bowl, complete with granola and a pipette of berry juice to squeeze onto your cookie. This is a popular item because you can customize the toppers and you put it on top. She's also the first in Seattle to make macaron cakes. Each cake is completely handcrafted. One might take you to Wonderland with Alice, another to the Oscars. She even made us an evening-themed cake while we were there. These treats don't just brighten the day of the people they're made for. Well, they bring joy to me, and they help me gain confidence. Launching the business has helped this mom of two find balance. Being a mom is amazing, but over time you started to lose yourself. And this business helped me gain confidence and helped me reclaim pieces of me. Her kids are now her R&D department. So this is me making macarons and then juggling as a mother with the two kids in the kitchen. You can find O oh Macarons at pop-ups in North Seattle or at Sidekick Coffee in Woodenville, which shares its kitchen with tea. Her vision is to open a storefront of her own that serves all things kawaii, the Japanese word for cute. I think people just love anything cute. And she's building toward that goal one adorable macaron at a time.